There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. That's from the book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 4. You see, I like to blend spiritualism along with nature into my writing. You can learn more about my writing by going to my web pages, www.rogerewingtaylor.com and www.lastwhitefairy.com. Today, we are in Dinosaur National Monument, which is in northwestern Colorado. There's a lot of great hiking trails out here, and I just got caught in the rain in one of them, but that's okay, because that's not what this place is really all about. What this place is really all about is this. Embedded in this wall are the fossilized remains of giant creatures that lived 149 million years ago. Now what would happen is these creatures would die and fall into the mud and over time with pressure their bones would become petrified into what we call fossils. And this is what the, our scientists use today to figure out what this world was like millions of years before we arrived. This is a great park to come to. Um, it's not very crowded because it's kind of out of the way. It's got great hiking trails, like I said, as long as you don't get rained on. But aside from that, it's a tremendous educational experience for the entire family. Now, I do realize that some people get really uptight. They want to argue about how the world was created. Some people say the world was created one way. Some people say the world was created another way. My advice is believe what you want to believe. Hold on to your faith. And open your mind to the things that nature can show us and teach us. I will say one thing about that debate. Today, I think we looked at some pretty compelling evidence that shows that after all, the Bible was right. There were giants in the earth. This is Man Across America, Roger Ewing Taylor, and I'll catch you at the next spot.